Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a few weeks since I've checked in, but I've been so busy. <laughs> There's Storm. She's like, Daddy, just get to the thrift haul, right? Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, I have been thrifting very minimally, but I also have been buying online. So I just want to share what I found at thrift stores and what I found online. I just have to show you this shirt my friend Hayden got me for Christmas. No, for my birthday. It's music. Thank you, Hayden. Let's first go with some books I've ordered online. And I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons for about a year or so. And I thought I love cocktail books that are themed. And instead of Dungeon Master, it's Dungeon Meister. Uh, now, I always fall for these books that are really fancy on the outside. And I paid like 14 or 15 bucks. The reviews got good reviews, but... I don't know. It looks nice, but it's kind of generic. I don't know if I'll actually use it. I thought there'd be more pictures, so. But this is the current campaign I'm playing with my friends. And I've never bought... This is the first actual Dungeons & Dragons game that is based off of, you know, a prescribed little uh, story. So I bought this for $18 because I, it's always late at night when I do these Dungeons and Dragons games. And yeah, I pay attention, but yeah, now, now when I don't know what's going on, I can go back and read about it. I want to show you this. I bought it for $25, but this, I saw this on TikTok and this is for all the people that collect vintage stuff. This is Pantone which they have a color, they're, they're a paint or color company, I'm not quite sure, but I think both. But they got a book that shows the color schemes of different decades. And I thought, man, you know, when I watch certain people, they're like, yeah, this color was popular in the 40s and stuff. Well, it has every decade, not only decade, but look, there's themes. It has certain colors that you know, these are the colors of the 60s. These are the colors of the 70s. And so I just bought it to kind of delve deeper, mid-century, my favorite. I thought this was a really cool book. So definitely a book I want to read this summer because uh, I'm a teacher. I'll have a little more time this summer. But I want to show you, I, I sold two big tubs of books to Half Price Books. And you know they don't give you much, but if you're just going to donate them, you know, I'm purging. I got this for $10. It's African and Indonesian art. Sorry, um, not Indonesian, Oceanic. And if you're into tiki like me, you know, Oceania is part of the tiki culture. And I just think all of this stuff is beautiful. And I also, so I got these at Half Price Books while I sold stuff. And this is the Driscoll Hotel in Austin. This is a book uh, about the hotel that's haunted. So those are some quick pickups online and thrifting. And I also bought this because I saw it at Half Price Books, but then I bought it at eBay. It's just a comic book about different beers. You know, about beer, the story of beer. I'm like, that's right up my alley. And a book about absinthe. I like alcohol, y'all. But this book's about absinthe. It was like four or five bucks on eBay. I'm almost done. I actually got this at a antique mall. Round Rock Antique Mall. The man who cooked for himself. It just reminded me of me and my cat. Right, Storm? But I thought it was just so cute. I don't know. I pay, It was $6, but I... I think it was 15% off, so I paid for something. But let me turn now to the Round Rock Antique Mall that I went to three weeks ago. The only thing I got, name the brand, my brother always says this. It's Washer's Bach. And, and look, it's weird because this says Spain. Washer's Bach is normally West Germany. So I don't think it's fake. I did see some. 
Now it is kind of, it's got some crazy on the inside, but my favorite animal is a zebra. And I had to get this cause it was, um, I think it was $8, but it was like 15% off. So I paid about $6, but I just wanted a washer buck zebra mug. Oh my goodness, are y'all ready for this? So I always look for Tiki. I actually found in the same booth that had that mug, an Enchanted Tiki Room, E is for Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room Disney mug made in Thailand. Now it's not the most exciting mug. It was $20, 15% off. So I paid, you know, 16 something. But I'm like, that's, they're going for about 25 to 20. So I paid almost retail, but I'm like, I have to get something because I, I haven't been buying a lot. So I bought these two mugs, which is super cute. From the antique mall. I want to say that's one of the only things I got at the antique mall besides this. I think it was just the mugs and that. So big spender. But let me move on to some more thrifty finds. This is a big book about Bowie. And yeah, I paid, I was going to pay $4, but he charged me a dollar for children books. And um, I think it goes for about 20. It's not a big spender, but I, I couldn't pass up this Bowie book. Oh, look. Hi, Storm. Hi. That was so cute. <laughs> so he gave me a good deal on this. Now, actually, my brother has Pete's Treasures. Go check him out. He has this Easy Tiger rocks glass that says uh, liquid assets, and I've always looked for it. Well, I found everything but that one. Finally found these glasses on at Goodwill and Kyle, and it was two nineteen. I didn't want to buy all three, but I decided, you know, might as well do it because they they sell for about fifteen to twenty each. This is the good shit, and plus they're kind of cool and funny. Happy effing holidays! Oh man, I would keep them, but I kind of want to keep the good shit. But it turns out the guy only charged me two nineteen. I don't want to keep the boozy one. Two nineteen for all three, so I got a good deal. So I'm gonna pick my favorite one to keep and then sell the the other ones. Uh, I got this from my mom. She didn't have this one. She collected willow tree. Well, collects, but she doesn't buy them much now. Two nineteen, but she didn't have the one with the cat. And of course, she and I, our family loves cats. Ooh, I have to show you what else my friend Hayden got me. He went to Navy Strength. This is their fourth anniversary glass. It's a Mai Tai glass. Thank you, thank you. And another Mai Tai glass. I've started to really like Mai Tai glasses. This uh, Navy Strength is in Seattle and I've never been there. I mean, I've never been in Navy Strength. I wanna go to Navy Strength next time I'm in the area. But thank you, Hayden. All right, let's move on to some more. We'll, we'll save all my tiki items, which there's a little bit of controversy about, well, not really, but I'll get there at the end. One of these Goodwills, I the only thing I found was this one Le Creuset salt crock, and I need to wash it, but it was $3.45, and Le Creuset is a bolo. Everyone loves it. I actually like it, too. I just like, it comes in different colors, like Fiesta, and yeah, it's a little salt crock, but I'm just, I'm going to sell it. It's worth uh, about $30, which is good profit. I think this is the only thing I got at one of the Kyle Library thrift stores. This is another Bolo, the Far Side Gallery mug. I've sold about five or six of these. They sell well for $15 or so, and I got it for 50 cents. Jurassic Calendars, and I love how it says, kill something, eat it, kill something, eat it. That's all he's got to do. And I love that it says March, because March, it was my birthday month. March 27th is my birthday. Now the whole internet knows. All my subscribers. Oh, I have to show you this before I forget. I bought these. Now I want to buy, I want to try all their flavors. But I got one of these from one of my students and it was so good because I love malted milkshakes. I used to get them at Brahms with my dad. He loved malted milk. So I bought these on Amazon. They're about $3 each. I already ate two. Shh, don't tell. But I want to try all their flavors, but I didn't feel like dropping $90 to try a whole bunch of chocolate bars. 
Yeah, and uh, when I've been thrifting, I've been only finding two or three things, so that's why it's taken me a while to finally have enough to show y'all. I Times have changed, y'all. But these, I believe, aren't bowling pins. I think you can use them, but they're juggling pins. And they're not in the worst shape. If you think about it, wooden juggling pins, they should be, you know, they probably crack and scratch easily because people drop them when juggling. They were $4 each, um, a little bit more. I paid about $9 for both. I want to say they're going for, I saw $70 to $90 for pairs. And they, oh, there's a lot of them for sale, but a lot of them are different. And I think someone might be looking for a specific type. I think I will list them as a pair. And I was thinking, um, I just need to find a long box. So I'm not ready to thrift those. I mean, to sell those yet, but I can, you know, if only the USPS shoe box was a little bit longer, then I could do that. Cause those are my favorite boxes, the USPS shoe box, 15 by eight by six, but that's longer than that. Anyways, I'm planning on selling those. And if they don't sell, it's okay. I like buying weird things and learning about things, so we'll see how those do. All right, I was talking to you about zebras, and I grew up with this. You know, the gum that the gum that lasts only a few minutes, or actually one minute. But I saw that they come came out with gummies, and I'm like, I have to get them now. I couldn't find them anywhere online. Finally, found one one person selling it on Amazon. I paid like six bucks for this one little bag, but I want to keep the packaging. Yes, I'm a hoarder. It's just very nostalgic for me. And I like trying new candies, you know? You gotta live a little. Anyways, I bought this book. Let's go to the Pflugerville Wells Branch um, Goodwill. This is Hope Outdoor Gallery. And it was this you know, abandoned little site where lots of people in Austin, you could go and spray paint. And it finally closed a couple years ago. And I never got to go to it, but this was $4. I just love the artwork. And the reason why I got this is because I didn't see any listed. I will sell this. Someone who liked Hope Gallery would love this. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of the artwork and that it also came with someone, um, that's funny. So they're kind of going through the years and I don't know who owned this, but there's not really a gift shop, I don't think. So someone printed this, see, so you could just go and hang out. It was a hop in place, but I'm trying to find, there's some blank pages. Ooh, that's weird. I might end up keeping this. I like art books. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ooh, that's like a gazelle snail. All right, I'm keeping this. Someone put their own artwork in this. And I think that's why it had some blank pages. But that's not the artwork I wanted to show you. Sorry, it's taking so long. There was just something really cool in it that I'm like, oh, yeah, see, look, I love garbage. And it's a garbage paint. It says, Rat Queen made that. I want to look up Rat Queen. But, I don't know. It's a very cool little art book. For $4, I'll take it. Here's more books. You know, I found out that with eBay, my top earner for me was books. And I had no idea. It's because when I sell books, I end up getting a lot of money for certain books that I randomly scan or, you know, I kind of have an eye for things. I'm starting to get an eye for things. Ghost Hunting Texas. Uh, this was at Kyle Library Thrift. I like learning about ghosts. This was also Kyle Library Thrift. Someone had a bunch of, like, prophecy stuff. And this is Man Eats Man, the story of cannibalism. Isn't that cool? I know a lot of people here might not like that. I thought it would be a rare book. You could buy it for about $15, but I got it for a dollar. Ooh, it's kind of creepy and scary. But yeah, that's the rest of my books, if you don't like books. It's funny, I collect books, but I don't read them. Every year I say, this summer I'm going to read this book and this book. Before I get to the tiki, let me show you a few more things I got. 
I got some Scotch shipping tape. Wow, for $4.29. Now, this, this actually goes for about $12 to $15 on Amazon. So, it this is a good brand. So, I, I did buy it to ship. And, yeah, this. I actually already have one of these. I love this glass. It's in great shape. It's got some, you know, it was $3.19. It's got some recipes on it. And it's made by Mr. Bartender. So I thought that was cool. But I wanted to show you three things didn't have a price. These three things. And I don't know. I get annoyed whenever it doesn't have a price at Goodwill. They ring it up, but they don't tell you how much. So I don't know why, but they were a little more than I thought. I don't know. I think I paid about $4 for each of these items. 3 to $4. But I mean, this is a good deal, obviously. Now, I think this is burl wood, and I have a lily pad. You know, there's a, a lot of people made, I think these are the 50s, 60s, maybe 70s. Lots of people made metal work with burl wood little sculptures like this. I have a lily pad up for sale at my store, Knickknack Twin, on eBay. And this is a rose and butterfly, and I love how it's got some rosy color to it, and for like three or four bucks, it was a good pickup. And I think I could get at least $40. And I just love advertising, and I love this Coleman's mustard mug. Stands highest in my estimation. So I think I got it for about three or four dollars. And this was about three or four dollars. I believe this is Mikasa. I have some other Mikasa bottle stoppers that look just like this, and it was next to another one that I have, and it's Mikasa. But for this little fish stopper, I paid about $4, but it's it's very cute, I love it. I thought of my brother, Aaron. And, oh, what's funny, a student gave me that. <laughs> oh, and my friend Scott gave me this. I actually was gonna buy this at a thrift store, something like this, and I broke it at home right away, I was so mad. Well, um, I think you take a, round ice cube and it just kind of swirls around and i love that i kind of want a whiskey right now thank you scott all right this is the only thing i got at another goodwill saturday night live snl and this is from 2001 so yeah for a dollar or two i think it was a dollar um i'm gonna sell it for i'm gonna try to get 20 bucks it's kind of got an old school logo almost and before I get to the tiki, I want to show this. My school, um, we had professional development on Friday. They had door prizes, and one of the teachers gave me this. It's called um, Ozobot, and it's a STEM toy. Science, technology, engineering, math. But I think I don't know if it's been used. But I actually looked it up just now. New ones are selling for a hundred. I'm like, oh goodness. I mean, I guess they got rid of it because they don't need it anymore. But I want to test it out. It's interesting. You like, I don't know, draw stuff and it follows. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this, but I will try to play with it this summer. I can at least sell it. All right, let's talk about the tiki stuff. I buy lots of tiki mugs online good money and I sell them for good money I almost sell them to you know make money back to go towards my own collection so when I saw 10 tiki mugs on Facebook marketplace on uh, you know not local pickup but it was you can order them I said "Ooh, these are cool mugs 10 of them for 140 so I ended up paying I want to say $150 or so. No, I, th I think my... Oh, it was 120 for 10 mugs. So that was like $12 a mug plus shipping. So I paid 145 Well, I got it. And of course, so many things were broken because I packed it in a 12 by 12 by 12 box. And to pack 10 tiki mugs, some of them are kind of large. He had bubble wrap and, you know, everything was bubble wrapped. But there was a little bit of peanuts. But still, it's just a lot to... Lot to put in one box. So I want to show you the ones that I'm keeping and I'm, I'm glad to have. I still haven't been to the Mai Kai and I've just always wanted this Mai Kai barrel. 
rum barrel from my Kai. So I got that. It's worth about twenty twenty five dollars. Um, and then this is what I'm. I really love this because I got the pink bearded clam. Yes, it's kind of explicit, but it, look, it's got cold paint on it. And I want to say that this is one of the first ones. Now, Jason, if you're watching, Jason T. Smith, he's my tiki guru that I've learned so much, almost everything about from him. This is by Dirk Yerman. And uh, this is from 2008, I guess, maybe more recent, but I don't see a lot sold on eBay with Terra Peak. So none have sold in a year. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad I have two different versions. Now I need to get the regular one. And so those two mugs for sure, I'm glad I have. And this one, this is from the Mahiki. The Mahiki is in London. And the guy said, Mahiki. He said that he actually went to it. And um, I don't see any sold for this one. He called it like a zombie or voodoo guy. I don't know. But um, if anyone knows anything about this mug, please let me know. I was so bummed out because this lot of mugs was supposed to come with a skull mug from the Mahiki. And I'm like, that is so cool. I love skulls and the, the skull mug. It was completely shattered. So that was a really big bummer. And I, I, I don't know. I was like, man, I have two mugs that I can't find anywhere. And they're really cool, unique. Uh, so that was a bummer. So that one was completely shattered. This one, oh, he threw in some... Palm tree swizzles, um, two of these, and I like this. I actually have this book, Smuggler's Cove. So I like the little freebies he gave, but um, yeah, let's talk about, well, this mug also came with it. Tiki Farm probably presents Muggle, Magoomba Grand Opening Party. I want to know what that is. Jason, if you know, let me know. My friend Hayden actually likes this mug. Um, I think it's okay here. And I also was looking forward to this one. Look at this bug. This one is made by Tiki Farm Squid 2003. But it had a chip that was not in the picture, so this got damaged. Now, I still really like this mug. And there was another mug that, I came, that came in this lot. Now, I actually don't have this, so I'm like, I might as well buy it. It's Harvey's Lake Tahoe. Now, um, a lot of people don't like these uh, little barrel mugs. But I like it. Now this is my second Harvey's mug. But this one also has a little chip right here. It's not the worst chip. But uh, yeah, it, there's just lots of problems. And I'm going to keep going about it. Now this was made by Loon. 41 out of 200. 2007. And it came um, cracked. Do you see that huge crack? It came cracked in two places three places. So I can't use this one. So besides the skull that got completely cracked, this one was completely cracked. This Trader Vic's coconut was cracked in two that I can't use anymore. So I had a cracked skull, well, shattered skull. Those were cracked. Two were chipped. Um, this one was only one disclosed, Hawaiiano Tiki Diablo, which is cool. Seven out of 200. I like this mug. And he, he showed me on the pictures that it was already cracked and it came with this but guess what when i open it there was a live silver fish you know the little bugs that eat paper so you can tell his bubble wrap was dirty too and like i think that little silver fish destroyed this paper that was in it so i'm like i didn't know it would come with this paper and i think that's cool but at the same time it's like he he gave it to me dirty with a bug that ate stuff on it so I'm not going to, I don't know. He was very, you know, I bought it off of buy, trade, sell, tiki mug group. But yeah, with um, one completely shattered, two completely cracked, and two chipped, I was just not happy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So for, um, I'm still going to use this as like, I don't know, I kind of want to seal it and use it as a planter. I think that's cute. This, um, I don't know who Loon is, but I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep these cracked mugs to put swizzles in. That's kind of what I do. But, um, right away that night, 
I told him about it. He gave me a refund for the skull mug, as he should. He gave me a refund for these two. Um, basically came out to, I divided the total amount of mugs and the shipping, and I basically got $55 back because one mug was shattered, two were cracked, and then, you know, that includes, I said, would you do $5 off each mug with a chip? And he said yes. Because it's a little chip, but it's still damaged. So, anyways, I ended up paying $90 for all of these. Which isn't bad, and I got a few mugs that I really like, like these three, and I still like this one with the chip and this one. So I ended up doing okay still, but it would have been way more worth it if they didn't come. So pack your stuff nicely, everybody. I know things happen. In fact, that same day, the first, um, I got a return request because I cracked um, one of my New York City Starbucks mugs. She said she put coffee in it and it showed a crack so it's kind of funny because i've only cracked i've only broken two things in transit in the past five years and the day that i got a whole bunch of cracked things well not only did i have to basically file a claim with that guy but i also filed a claim for the post office to reimburse me for my chip or my crack and of course they didn't they didn't refund me but it's okay i uh long story short cracks happen but they can be avoided and we can all try our best at the end of the day but things happen anyways thank you for watching this was long-winded but um i feel like i haven't seen y'all in a while i have a lot of more videos coming up a lot of footage i've filmed uh please like comment and subscribe share and tell a friend and let me know what was your favorite thing i found or what's the favorite thing that you found recently i really want to know thanks for watching bye everybody knickknack twin out